love with India. The first day I came, I knew that it will be my second home. That was in 2000. Then I came very often. And finally, I learned about the culture, about religions, about people, about the history, and everything about India. I saw so many children in the street without going to school that I thought I have to do something. In 2005, I created Heart for India Foundation, which takes care of the underprivileged children. We began with one school. The school was Namangala. safety, hygiene, security for the children, the teachers, cleaners, and so on. So we did our first year like that. Then I observed that a lot of children were very thin and not nourished normally. I tried to, to know why. We observed because the family in which they live are underprivileged parents, so they don't know and they don't have the money to feed their children. The first year, children were going out in the afternoon, leaving the school, to grab few rupees working in the field or working anywhere uh, for any money to have a dinner. So we decided, okay, we have to do something at that point. And we asked to the University General Hospital of Geneva, Switzerland, if they could help us with this problem. And they said, yes, we'll come with three doctors, nutritionists. We will observe every day the children. They did it. Conclusion was that 50% of the children were malnourished. We decided, okay. 50 are not well, 50 are well. Okay, why we don't take all the children and give a second meal at 4 o'clock at the end of the, of the afternoon? And then it has been a miracle. Because children are staying at school, first thing. When I came, the success rate of the children was only 40%. From one standard to another standard. And now we have 97% success rate. Imagine. Children are remaining at school during the afternoon. So they learn. So they know they have uh, uh, snacks at 4 o'clock. Then they have tuition. Then they go back home. They don't have to work anymore. So this is the key of our success. To have link education and nutrition. And this is why this model can be duplicated all over India. We give also uh, some teachers from IT, for English teaching, for sports. We introduce human rights, we introduce a kitchen garden, we introduce a competition. Thank <laughs> you.
warning before beginning the courses. Children uh, come and they make either yoga or meditation. We create in every school green teams and these teams are volunteers children who want to take care of the environment. So for example, water and plants and trees. So every year they plant trees or they plant flowers to take care of the environment. This is very important for these uh, young generation to be really involved with the environment problems. So we take care of these children until the 12th standard. We don't stop, stop before at the end of the 9th standard because I do think it's very important they, are, they go until the 12th because afterwards boys are out and they can find a job. But for the girls it's another problem. And that's why we created a training, professional training center in Chennai and we take the, the young woman who have succeeded the 12th standard and wants to have a professional, uh, a prof professional skills to be included in the society. So we want to take all these children out of the poverty. This is really our main goal. So we have this uh, center, professional center, where every year we have 120, 130 young women. During one year, they learn uh, nurses for childhood, they learn secretary, they learn desktop operator and uh, multimedia, and now physiotherapy, so on. After one year, they have an examination and they have a diploma which is recognized by the University of Tamil Nadu. And they have a job. So they are working in companies, they are working out of their communities. So this is extremely important. This is exactly the goal where we want to go. And we are very proud because our girls are so good that every year there is one which is selected to go to America for one year and to learn English. So this is a very important contribution and this is the final contribution where we want to go. The foundation first is settled in Geneva. Uh, this is the base. This is the place where we are uh, raising funds. This is the place where all the administrative work is done. This is the place who is taking the decisions. Nothing can be done without our agreement. This is extremely important and uh, this is why we are going to India five, six times a year to, to see what is done on the ground, to see the problems, to, to find solutions and so on and to improve what we are doing. <laughs> A new school called uh, Aman Nagar. Aman Nagar, when I came there, was a little village uh, with full of dust everywhere because the men are cutting the stones and it's a lot of dust everywhere. It was dirty as you cannot imagine and this school has the, the used water, you know, uh, just in front of the school. Cannot believe it. It's a charming village, in fact, 
very poor people, extremely poor people. Then we built a wall around this little school. We, um, we create a new, we level the ground, we create toilets, we create a, a kitchen for the children. So at the beginning we had 150 children three years ago and now we have 450. We are giving the uniform, the books, the, the bag and everything they need. And one day I had a, a mother who came and she told me, you know, because of the uniforms, my children can go to school. She said, you know, uniform and change our life. Taking care of the children is a really a fantastic job for me. I'm so happy with that. But sometimes it's really hard. What happened recently? I was in this school a few months ago and there were twins, girls twins. And one was seven, they were both seven years of course, but one was tall and normal and the other one was very tiny and was very short. And I took this girl, I talked with her and she was a gifted, uh, gifted child. She could open a book, read a page, close the book and she knows everything by heart. I was just thinking, oh my God. But I was worried about, she was so thin and so, oh my God, she was so short. Then I said to the headmistress and to our manager, I said, this girl has a problem. She is not, she has something wrong with her health. I think maybe she is undernourished or maybe she, is, she has rashidis. And I said, okay, I would like that you send this girl to the doctor, to the nutritionist and everything because I want, we want to help her. And I said, talk to the parents because we will take care of everything. I went back to Geneva and then six weeks later, I received the information, this little Surya has passed away. And I was thinking, oh my God, that was so hurting because I, I was really hoping we will help her, she will go, she will be perfectly okay. But finally, it was too late. We have two main ambassadors for the Heart for India Foundation. One is the beautiful Rekha Hana. Now she is our world ambassador. She is doing a great job. We have another one. It's Vidit Batia, the Indian chef.
Darling too. And he cooked at Mount Everest, 6,000 meters, a meal for 10 people, a profit for the foundation. Now, also trying to get the CSR. Every company is supposed to spend 2% of the uh, profit, declared profits, for foundation, for um, association, for anything which is good for social life. And I'm trying to find companies who want to be involved with us in our schools because we always need new things. We also need money. And if you trust our work, you put your money, you know where it is, you know what we do. Our books are open to everybody who is working with us. I think if you have something in your heart, you should know where is going the two person. I don't ask for two person. I ask for half, half a person. I ask for nothing else. Now, be involved with us because then you will see results. And results is a goal in life. India is now managing five government schools and four balwellies. We have a, also one professional training center. So this is now more than 3,000 children that we take care. It's not a short-term engagement, it's a long-term. And that's very difficult to make people understand. We cannot say tomorrow to the children, finish, we don't have any more money. We cannot go up. No, we are so responsible that we want these children achieve their studies. This is one thing. We distribute every day 3,000 meals. It's uh, also something very important. success rate of the children now in the schools is 97%, 97% in a government school and in our training center it's 98% means that nearly all our girls have their diploma and they, are, they have a job so this is a big success. Thank you to watching us.